Hello everybody and welcome back. Now today's video is going to be looking at one of Snapchat's products that's called Snapchat Kit. Half of you probably won't know what it is, so today we're going to explore and find out. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Snapless channel. Now like I said in the introduction, we're going to be looking at Snapchat's product that's called SnapKit. It's designed for developers so us the consumers won't find much out of this video, but it is really good to see which direction Snapchat is going. And this is going to allow third party apps to join the Snapchat train. Now before I get into the main content of the video, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Carl Lightning and I run the Snapless channel and I'm here to help you guys out in the Snapchat community. Now today's video is new to me as this is an early development so again it's aimed for more developers you'll probably understand more on the Snapkit website. I've only got the basics for you today but at least you can have a seat of what's going on. So firstly what is Snapkit? Well basically it allows third party applications to talk to Snapchat in various ways whether that be sharing a sticker or logging in using your Snapchat details. I'll talk more about those as we go through the four types of Snapkit. Now one thing that's going to put all our minds at rest is because this is obviously connecting to third party apps it is obviously going to be sharing some of our data but Snapchat state on the Snapkit website how serious they take their data and the privacy with users information and we'll find more about that when we talk about the login kit later on in the video. So let's go have a look at some of the exciting kits that Snapchat have released in the Snapchat kit but please bear in mind this is still early development. So the first kit that we're going to be looking at is the one that's called the creative kit and this basically allows third party applications to give information to the Snapchat snaps like stickers, filters, links to their Sites and just make snaps a little bit more immersive. The example that Snapchat use in their promotional video for Snapkit is about a run where someone's obviously used a third party app and gone for a run, it looks like a city, not that that's relevant, but they've then finished their run and shared that to Snapchat and the sticker is now being able to be pasted on a snap of maybe the finish line. Now, one application I would like to see use the Snap Kit in the future is the actual Apple Watch. This collects your data in terms of exercise, your stand hours, and your calories burned. And I wish you could share this to your Snapchat story because the majority of my friends own one of these and it would motivate them to push harder. It would look a bit like this. Again, this is an example, so do not expect the Apple Watch to do this, but if you could share this, this would be fantastic. Let us know in the comment section below which apps you would like to see utilize the creative kit to put custom custom stickers and filters on. It's good to see what you have and ideas that maybe Snapchat or the developers of that app might take on. The next kit that Snapkit have made is called Login Kit and you've seen this one before. Uh, a big company called Facebook use this quite a lot with most apps already and this is when you can literally log in without signing up using your email and password. You just literally tap a button and this is what Snapchat are going for and I think this is fantastic because it only takes two bits of information and that first bit of information is your Bitmoji profile picture and your display name from Snapchat. Now earlier on I said that Snapchat take their data and their privacy very seriously and this is the part I was talking about. Because it only takes your caricature and your display name from Snapchat, that keeps all the personal details that you've entered on the app inside the app, like telephone numbers, email addresses, and any demographical details about you. The next kit that we're going to be talking about is the Bitmoji kit, and basically what this one will allow is your Bitmoji to travel around applications. We've already seen this in an example of Gmail, they put it into their keyboard to give the emails a bit more life, and they're also now allowing third party users to actually go into their applications and maybe use them as stickers, emojis, or even the profile picture for, again, life for their application. Now an application that I've stumbled across recently does use Bitmoji Kit. Now don't judge me because I don't use it, however I do know that Tinder, the dating application, has already implemented this. I'm not sure why, I've, again I don't use it, but I reckon it's so you can put both users into one Bitmoji sticker. And the last development tool that Snapkit have made is called Story Kit. And what this one is, is it allows you to embed parts of Snapchat stories, whether that be from our story, live stories, or just anything that's been shared on Snapchat, into their community, whether it be an application or a website. Now this one is in beta, and I've not seen any live examples of this, but that's what it's trying to do. It's making the community grow outside of Snapchat using Snapchat. Now if you're just as interested in Snapchat as I am, I will leave a link in the description of the Snapkit site which showcases a few of the apps that are currently used in Snapkit, whether that be Creative, Login or the Bitmoji Kit that allows you to just enjoy third party apps. 
with Snapchat. Now before I end today's video, I do want to show you Snapkit in action in one of my favourite new apps that I found through the Snapkit website because I think it is good just to show off what they've already done in the short amount of time that this has been available. The app I'm about to show you is called Pop and what this app allows you to do is either use artists design stickers or make your own stickers that you can share with Snapchat and you can stick these straight onto your snaps. Now before we get into that, I just want to show you the login kit and how easy it actually is to set up for this application. So when you boot the application up, you'll see at the very start it asks you to sign in and there are three options. The first one, and it looks like they're trying to prioritise this, is log in with Snapchat. There is obviously Facebook and email but at the very top there, there it is, log in with Snapchat and you click onto this and it takes you straight into your Snapchat ping straight back into the application and there is your Bitmoji and display name ready to go. Now that's the best example of login kit that I've seen and look how easy it was, I literally tapped it twice, it went into Snapchat, it came back and no personal information was shared with that third party application. Just my name and just my caricature, so no numbers, no emails and that gives me some comfort that it's not being sold or shared with anyone that it shouldn't be. Now what Pop's designed for is to allow artists and yourself to make some very fancy stickers that you can then share on in Snapchat and all you've got to do is find a sticker or create your own sticker very easily done by the way and once you've got the sticker that you'd like you'll see there's a snapchat button at the bottom give that a tap and then it will go into the snapchat with the sticker on top take your photograph and then you can move it around like the normal snapchat stickers it does come with a little caption saying where it's come from you can remove that very easy but there's your custom sticker inside the snapchat app and you can do whatever you like with this you can send it to friends add it to your story get creative guys because it is a very powerful tool so those are the two features that Pop are currently using, login and creative. The other two we'd like to see be implemented into the Pop app, but good luck with that guys, because I think you're doing fantastic so far. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching Snapdis today. I really do appreciate your time when you come and watch the Snapdis channel and I hope you've enjoyed learning about the Snap Kit because it is sort of brand new to probably the majority of us. I've been interested in it for the last couple of months but never seen any movement with it. But now applications are slowly developing it, it's good to see. And this is the future of Snapchat, allowing other users and other applications to use their app as well. If of course you're new around here, you can subscribe to the channel and if you enjoyed today's video, then leave us a like. Let us know in the comment section below, like I said earlier, what applications you think should involve themselves in the snap kit because it is going to be a bigger app as they progress into the future so anyway let's catch you guys in the next video